Hello and welcome to Daily Current Affairs by Neo IAS. Today is 13th June 2019 and the topic we are going to discuss is National Mineral Development Corporation, National Disaster Response Force, Women Jalan Panel, Wildlife Institute of India, Map Aided Program and the previous year question revision series. Coming to the first topic, National Mineral Development Corporation, NMDC. This is in news because they stop iron ore uh, production in all its mines except Kumaraswamy mines in Karnataka due to uh, some tribal uh, protests. So, NMDC, it is the government of India uh, fully owned public enterprise mineral producer. Okay, so it is under the uh, administrative control of Ministry of Steel and this was incorporated in the year 1958. So, yeah, it involves exploration of minerals like iron ore, copper, rock phosphate, limestone, dolomite, then gypsum, uh, magnesite, diamond, tin, etc. So, it is India's single largest iron ore producer and uh, exporter producing more than 35 million, million tons of iron, uh, iron ore from three fully mechanized mi uh, mines in Chhattisgarh and Karnataka. So, uh, it also operates the only mechanized diamond mine that is in Panna in Madhya Pradesh. Okay, so now uh, the NMDC operated mines are uh, Bhaila Dila that is in Chhattisgarh, then Bhaila Dila Bacheli complex is there that is also in Chhattisgarh, then Dhoni Malay, Dhoni Malay is in Karnataka and the diamond mining uh, that is in Panna Madhya Pradesh. The next topic is National Disaster Response Force NDRF. So, they are in news because uh, NDRF has deployed 40 teams along the coast of uh, Gujarat and Daman and Diu uh, because of the cyclonic uh, storm of uh, uh, Vayu. So, uh, NDRF is basically a specialized force. Their main purpose is to, uh, is to uh, you know, um, uh, give response in the disaster situation or the situation under Disaster Management Act of 2005. So, the apex body uh, according to the Disaster Management Act, uh, the apex body for disaster management in India is National Disaster Management Authority and they are the implementing agency. NDRF is the response force under NDMA. Okay, so the chairman of NDMA is uh, Prime Minister. NDRF is under NDMA and NDRF it is a unique force across the fun uh, country functioning under Ministry of Home Affairs, okay, very important, Ministry of Home Affairs uh, within the overall control uh, and leadership of the Director General of NDRF. So, the responsibility for disaster management in India's, uh, the overall system, uh, even the state government is uh, using the NDRF. So, they have this uh, SDRF for each state. So, there is a federal system in, uh, in disaster uh, response force in India. Okay, when calamities of severe uh, nature occurs, the central government, they are responsible for providing aid and assistance to the affected states. They will deploy uh, at state's request armed forces or central paramilitary forces and this NDRF uh, and such communication, air and other assets, they are also being uh, given or uh, made available according to the need. So, the organization at present, they have 12 battalions, uh, 3 from each BSF, uh, CRPF, uh, CISF and uh, 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 sorry, uh, BSF, CISF, ITBP and SSC. Okay, so all the 12 battalion have uh, been equipped and trained to respond for natural and man-made disasters. Because these days, uh, man-made disasters are occurring more frequently like urban floods or landslides. Uh, so, uh, more uh, they are being uh, responsible, uh, they are uh, coming for the uh, for responding to the man-made disasters. So, the battalion it is also trained and equipped for uh, response during chemical, biological, uh, radiological or even nuclear emergencies. Okay, that is CBRM, chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear emergencies. So, these battalion are capable or are trained according to CBR and emergencies as well. Okay, next is Biman Jalan uh, panel. So, Biman Jalan panel, uh, panel is in news because uh, they, they were to support, uh, you know, or uh, submit a report by the end of June. So, the RBI, uh, they, they follows a June, July, June calendar 
uh, for transferring the dividends to the central government after closing its account in June, uh, sorry in August. So while transferring the dividend, the central banks, they keeps a share of surplus towards various risks and reserves every year according to an economic capital framework. So the panel, it is, it's a panel appointed by RBI uh, the, uh, for preparing economic ca uh, capital framework. Uh, so this will be addressing the issues of RBI's reserves. So it is now one of the sticking points between the, the central government and the, uh, and the, uh, the central bank. So it will suggest how the central bank should handle its reserves and whether it can transfer its surplus res uh, um, reserves to the government. So the panel will decide whether RBI is holding provisions, reserves and buffers in surplus of the required level. They are, they are the, uh, the, uh, uh, the people who will calculate the reserves and buffers. Okay, it, will, uh, it would also propose uh, suitable profit distribution policy taking into account all the likely situations of RBI. So the ECF, uh, the electronic, uh, sorry, the economic capital framework uh, will also suggest an adequate level of risk provisioning. So the risk provisioning that uh, the RBI needs to maintain. So any other related matters including the treatment of surplus reserves uh, that is created out of realized gains that will come within the ambit of this committee. Okay, so economic capital, the word economic capital, it refers to the amount of risk capital that a bank estimate it will need in order to, you know, remain solvent at a given confidence level. Okay, so that is the amount of risk capital a bank needs to keep in order to prove their sales as solvent. So RBI's reserve, uh, it is... Uh, uh, it, it is standing at 9.59 lakh crore right now. Next is World uh, Wildlife Institute of India. So uh, this is in news because University of Delhi and Wildlife Institute of India in uh, collaboration with some researchers from Indonesia and US, they have discovered a new frog uh, from northeastern India. So the frog is, it is commonly called as paddy frog. I don't have the picture, please google it. So the first, it is the first known species of this genus that has been originally described from the island of Sumatra in Indonesia. So currently there are only four recognized species in this group. The new species is uh, named as Aishani. So Wildlife Institute of India, uh, it is uh, an internationally acclaimed institution. It will, uh, it will offer this training programs and academic courses in wildlife research and management. It will also carry out uh, wildlife researches in the area of uh, biodiversity, endangered species, then wildlife policy, wildlife management, wildlife forensics, uh, then eco, uh, eco development, habitat ecology and even climate change. So it was established in 1982. It is uh, an autonomous inst institution working under uh, Ministry of Environment and Climate Change. So uh, the institute is uh, located in Darado. In map aided program, we are continuing with the national parks. Today we are dealing with the national parks of Telangana. So there are three national parks in Telangana. Kashu Brahmananda Reddy National Park, Mahavir uh, Harina Vanasthali National Park and Mrigavani National Park. So Kashu Brahmananda Reddy, all three national parks are within Hyderabad city only. So Ka Kashu Brahmananda Reddy National Park, it is also known as Chiran Fort or Chiran Palace. It is a national park located within uh, the Jubilee Hills in uh, Hyderabad. So Mahavir Harina Vanasthali National Park, it is again a deer national park. Uh, it is in Vanasthalipuram, that is why the name Vanasthali, Vanasthalipuram, uh, again in Hyderabad. So, it is the largest green lung space in the city of Hyderabad. Okay, and the next is Mrigavani National Park. Mrigavani National Park is again in Hyderabad. It is uh, home to around 6,000 different plant species and uh, it, it is also very famous for the spotted deers. Around 350 spotted deers are there in the Mrigavani National Park. So I have attached a map to it and marked all the three national parks. Please go through it. 
and in PQRS, I'll read out the question. The term intended nationally determined contribution is sometimes seen in news in context of the pledge made by European countries to rehabilitate refugees uh, from the war affected Middle East. No. The plan of action outlined by the countries of world to combat climate change can be capital uh, contributed by the member countries in the establishment of Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank. No. The plan of uh, outlined by the countries of world regarding sustainable development goal. Usually you get confused between B and D. But INDC was a product of Paris Climate Treaty. If you know this, you don't have to be confused in this question. It is purely climate change based. It was adopted uh, in uh, Paris uh, summit uh, uh, that is COP21. Okay, so the answer is B that is uh, the plan of action outlined by uh, the countries of world to combat climate change. Okay, so that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the session. So if any doubts let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you.